All right, hey guys, um, I'm making this quick video just to show that I did make. Is this the final one? Yes. Quail Man goes Super Saiyan. Made this image. Make sure it's in the screen there. Um, so just to explain the image really quick. So this is Doug as Quail Man. Obviously, this is for the level 99 uh, challenge of the month. Which I now know is an illustration challenge and not an animation challenge, which I did not know before. Now I'm learning stuff. Um, anyway, so he has, just to explain this a little bit, he has the sword. I was trying to make it very similar to uh, the sword from Inuyasha, because I wanted the idea to be that he stole some stuff from other characters and other animations and other cartoons. So... Obviously, he has some stuff that's his, so he has the shield, which has spikes, like ni like little knives coming off. It's the beat from, uh, like, in the show, he, he beats are, for some reason, really common in the show, which is weird, because as a human being, I've never eaten beets. So maybe it's just me. Um, his briefs have been upgraded to boxer briefs, so that's increased mobility. And then when he got... The briefs, which increased his mobility, and it's hard to see here, but I'll show you on the original. Um, he has special boots, which are like quail boots, uh, which make it so that he can climb vertically. So, with those boots, though, my idea was that he climbed out of his cartoon, and he stole Inuyasha's sword and bird person from Rick and Morty's wings. So he has those things. And then in this image, obviously, he's fighting, uh, I forget... What's his sister's name? I forget what his sister's name is, but um, I'm forgetting right now. Anyway, but it's fighting his sister as the villain, who in Quail Man, she was a three-headed dragon. You can kind of only see two of the heads. I was trying to get as much as I can into the image without making it too, too cluttered. There's another head over here, which you'll see in the original image. Um, and as she's attacking, he becomes a Super Saiyan by doing the Quail Man Yodel. Because if you remember in the show, yodeling was a big part of the show for another week. I don't know why. But he's yodeling, which is why he looks like he does. And he's holding up his sword as he's going Super Saiyan. Um, so yeah, so that's the story behind the image. Um, I'll go through and show you some of the reference material first. This was it before shading. And without the light effects that I put on it, which I'll explain how I did. Um... This is it just shaded before the light effects. It didn't come out. as The shading isn't as perfect as I wanted it to be, but I think it fits the style. I was going to redo it, and I think it fits the style. Because uh, Doug's obviously not a super realistic animated show. So I think that that fits, fits well. Um, here's just the tail. Because obviously the lighting... I wanted the tail in front of the lighting. Here's the first one that I did. Originally, I was going to go with a journal thing, so I was going to say, Dear Journal, today I hit level 99, and then it was going to be him here with the lighting effects. But it didn't come out as good as I wanted. I like these two characters, but I don't know, it just looks boring. I think this one definitely looks a lot more interesting, um, a lot more... I think it, it really draws your eyes to the spots where I wanted it to. Um... Anyway, so reference material, this was my first reference. I used this to draw... Yeah, that's the thing I'm using for screencast. Um, let me go on my Facebook, I'll show you guys the reference material. Or the reference, my first reference drawing, I mean. I'm going to have to scroll. Oh no, I can just go to images, can't I? Um... Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, not photos of me. My photos. Come on now. So this is the one I uploaded. I uploaded this yesterday just to show people where I was at. This was the original sketch I did uh, where I was exploring the different things I wanted them to do. Things that didn't end up being there, obviously, are the goggles, which I actually have on there, but I took off because I didn't think it fit the style I was going for, and I wanted to give him, like, a utility belt, 
like Batman on his head, but it just I couldn't get it to fit right. So I it, and I don't think it's lacking without it. All right. So this was the first reference image. This was the second one to help get some of the colors cuz this one I think was made by someone afterwards. This is right from the show. Um You guys don't need this this one was to get the dragon to really like see what they look like. Um I did this is where it's going to get a little bit more complicated. I did it originally as vectors in um, Anime Studio. So, because I'm an animator and not really much of an illustrator, this is the website that my workflow is built around. So, here is the Doug. So, the, there's the beat, beat thorns, the shield behind it. Oops. Um, left hand was the only hand that really was showing, um, so that worked, and I don't know, I'll just go through and show you guys, sword, that's the whole blade, and then the sword handle. Which didn't come out. The sword didn't come out as good as I wanted it to, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to draw too much attention away. I think the. I think the background and the contrast between him going Super Saiyan and the background around him. I didn't want to draw too much attention away by focusing too hard on the sword, and then it would look too weird with the animation style. Um, this face stuff here, are the goggles, which, like I said, I didn't think fit the whole uh, visual I was wanting to go for, so I took it off. A uh, head belt. All the stuff in his head. Uh, Anime Studio does masking, so that's why it's in a separate thing. Mouth. Um, his right hand. His right arm. The underwear. Shorts. You can't see his shoes. Okay, yeah, let me do that. Let me show you guys the shoes since you can't really see them, and that's a part of the story. So let me make the tail go away. So over his shoes, and these were gonna obviously going to be shaded. This is all pre-shading. I didn't end up needing to shade it. But these are boots which have little pokey things on the bottom which allow him to walk vertically. I, birds can't really do that, but I still thought it was a kind of a cool idea. Um, so, yeah, I mean... Undershorts, the Q. I can make. Let's see. Let's me let me make the shield disappear. Oops. There we go. Um. Yeah. So the dragon. There you can see the other head. <laughs> so you know it's there. I'm not tricking you. <laughs> it does have three heads. Um, Doug. So there's the dragon. Obviously, not not much of it was showing, so that's why partway through I was like, all right, I'm not going to get crazy in depth on this dragon. Uh, when almost none of it's going to be, none of it's going to be visible. Um, and there's the tail, which I knew I wanted that coming in front. And in, if you looked on the reference image, oops, on the reference image. There's no hands. There's just legs. I originally was going to make it so the hands were going around Doug. Like two hands coming around. You can't see my hands, but I'm doing a motion of them. And I ended up not being able to do that because... Because, uh, yeah, because there was no hands in the reference. I guess I could have done it still, but I wanted to stay true to the... As true as I could do it. Okay, so here's the lighting effects, because... For illustrators, I don't know what you guys if you guys have stuff like this, but for animation, oh sorry, those are the images. Um, okay, so let me let me go through and explain this. So I did this. Let me X this one. Out. I already have it saved. So these are lighting effects. Um, they're particle effects on Anime Studio. I followed really close to a tutorial, so I'll show you guys 
the tutorial just to, I guess, plug that guy in um, to show where I got the concept from. Super Saiyan. This tutorial. So, in the tutorial, he goes through, it follows, you, you set up pretty much a transparent light source, which follows a predetermined path by a shape that you make, and then you animate out the different layers, and then when the layers are animated out, you can change the angle by messing with the, um, the depth by, like, in 3D space, and blah, 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 blah. You mess with the light source, you mess with the um, multiplying, and then you end up, even though it looks crappy right here, obviously, you end up with this. You end up with this effect down here, like this fire around in a circle effect. And the way, you can see I'm not on the zero frame, the way I got the shot I wanted to get was by going through like this, through the animation, and then finding what I thought was the best, which I wanted his... I didn't want it to like be big gaps, so it was like somewhere like that. Obviously, the sh I turned the shading images off, but yeah. So that's the fire effect, which is the rays. The specs are literally like here. Spec. Let me. I want to just have the spec up because I could show you guys. This is like funny simple. Okay, so you see, it's just a small circle that goes up and gets thinner. And then I mess with the transparency, the opacity, so that it also goes from invisible to visible. And then I created, and this is a vector layer, so it multiplies it randomly, or it multiplies it based on pre-set uh, things that I put, but I, I did it randomly. And then... I mess with the speed and everything, so there's it got that effect. And same thing with the fire. Alright, um and then for the shading oops. Shading, I do it in Fire Alpaca because I haven't bought in Manga Studio yet, which I plan on buying soon. But here's the shading I did. I have uh one of the Intuos one of the really cheap ones. Um so I just did a really basic, and I didn't realize my noobs ass for illustration. So I mean, if anything, I did learn things in this Jazza. So you should, I don't know you got that going. So, oh, where was it? Oh, it's because it's not plugged in anymore. When my thing is plugged in, there's a little box here that comes up, and you can click it to mess with, or no, you can click it so it says opacity by pressure, by pen pressure, um, which I didn't know existed when I did all of this. <laughs> so I did this all. Uh, by going back over, back over, back over, over and over and over and over again. Um, which was very annoying. And then that's why I started doing another one once I realized that, but then I realized this looks good. I like the way this looks. Especially with the light effects, it actually really came out good. I think the shading, I want to work on my shading a little bit. I think it's a little extreme, it's a little uneven and inconsistent. But uh, it worked well for what I wanted it to. And I think with the light being such a powerful source in the middle, it actually looks extreme in a good way. I think it's visually appealing. I'm actually really happy with it. So yeah, um, I've been doing this over the past month while finishing finals and stuff and packing because I'm moving in the next week. So for future videos, I'm going to try to do uh, the quick draws or whatever. What is it where you, you do time, time manipulation so it shows you drawing the actual image. But for this one, I hope this works, Jazza. I hope this, this works as proof. Um, that I did this. So, yeah. I don't know. Alright, well, I hope that's proof enough. If not, message me and tell me that it's not, because I really... Last month I did an animation, and I don't think you even watched it, because it wasn't even on the video for all of the different things that were put in. I did a full moving animation, like a 30 second animation, and then I realized that obviously the challenges of the month are not animation challenges. So if this does not fit for some reason, can you please let me know? I know you got a lot of entries, but at least let me know why I'm not, I wasn't included last time, if this time I'm not included. I'm about to run out of time. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope this is a good explanation of proof. Thanks for being uh, awesome and having challenges of the month. Thank you.